Welcome back to the Demon's Rest map in Lesara Summit Kingdom. Basically, Anno on mountains. Instead of islands, you have different parts of the mountains, multiple, you know, tiers of population, a lot of different goods. I right, look at all of the possible goods that exist, and I'm having tons of fun. I've already shared, you know, my review. Don't hesitate to check in the video description below if you want to see it. But without uh, without further ado, let's continue with this mission. And in particular, right now we have. A mission with time left right if we get to zero um, I don't want to know what's gonna happen so that's uh, forcing us to make some shrines uh, we've never made that one before so it's over here we're gonna want to build a shrine and then we're gonna want to give also some of those resources the good thing is I guess this is definitely something we can do on the top level and maybe we should actually do it over here for these guys oh that's a pretty cool small building uh, it's actually the size of a house so we may want to just move one house over here for example and then you put the shrine right in the middle Hopla. now it will require some incense so let's make sure we provide this uh, we're going to make the production chain so how big is the range here Fine here all right so this will deliver there and then this requires four wood and 12 herbs so let's go four wood uh, and 12 herbs so just one of these is enough and then 12 herbs one and two perfect i think if i didn't make a mistake you should start perfect here it is we have finished this mission great making good money right now i'm happy i'm happy and we are back to our mission of making butter tea now, to make butter tea we need to get to level five research so first we need to have this working so that one is actually slightly more complex remember we need a few things happening right we're gonna need oh where are we going to put this one hmm, that's a good question so we're gonna need for sure also some cedar uh, nicely tucked away over here then we're gonna need this one it's a pretty small one we're gonna need this one and we're gonna need also some rock crystal i forgot about this if there are no rock crystal there that's bad okay so let's uh, mm -hmm. go back to oh yeah i forgot about that one so instead what i'm gonna do is let's move this back here so we're going to improve this production right because we have rock crystal there uh, there's not a lot of space i may move this one on the other side is that fine yeah it's still fine okay so let's go we're gonna want uh, cart posts to be able to deliver this thing pretty much anywhere right so we're gonna move this here then i'm gonna put a rod in here definitely want this to deliver here and then this will deliver there and will deliver also all the way over here right why am i negative right now what's happening oh missing research because this has stopped okay so definitely good to pause the game when that happens when you break your game basically so we need some dye where is the dye coming from here so we're gonna put this dye here i'm going to delete that and this is producing four and we need only two Oh, so we're gonna need a couple of those actually sorry we're gonna need a couple of these uh, we're gonna need one sorry actually maybe i'm gonna put that back there but this one here so with this we're making four so if i send it here and then i send that here so now with this we're only getting two we can put another one uh, not good space not good space reorganization of it all 
So let's put another one here. Good. So this one also wants to get incense, right? Then we need some wood. So that is what I'm trying to put here. Because this way, this is sending here. Perfect. So we're making four here. All good. Then I want to also get eight wood over here. So let's put another one there. Good. What is that one again? The herbs. This is going into the instant. This is actually more than what we need, interestingly. So we could definitely make more. But first of all, let's do this. And then this goes into here. Okay. So now we are making six on this one. Why am I back to level one? Something is wrong. Something is wrong. Why is this not working? Providing three? Oh, it's increasing. Sorry, it just takes one minute to increase back. Please go fast, otherwise I'm going to lose all of my money. Okay, so we're back to two. We're going to be at three soon. Now, given that we are also making a surplus of two, hopefully, if I do this, now we should be able to move even further, but we are missing a lot of monks. So let's make sure to get those monks. Okay, we're good. We're good. I could actually get a few more. Okay. So we are good. And I think we're on our way to level 5, which will unlock now the butter tea. Perfect. Okay, we're at 5. Why is this one not happy? Oh, because we could give more. Yes, that's fine. That's fine. That's... Oh, an avalanche is happening on this side. Okay, that's fine. Disable, missing resources, no snow is fine. Yeah, you can pause this one. Okay. Satisfaction too low for three people. Why? Why, why, why? What's happening? We are not giving any enough of something. Oh, seems fine. Hmm. Okay, I am not too sure why. But, uh... That, uh like, I'd love to then be able to basically downgrade them, I guess. Let me just delete them. And put them back into level 1. Oh, even at level 1, they're not happy. Because they have nothing over here, okay? I mean, they want... Ustensil, if possible. Where are we making Ustensil? Forgot. And we're making them, but we're not sending them. Okay, so maybe I'm gonna use this one to make more and send it here. Okay, give me one second. Basically, what we're gonna do is have two more of these. All right. So this is delivering also here and also here. And then we're gonna have another one of these. That's going to receive all of them. Oh, it's too far. Okay, well, give me one second. We just need to make it a cobalt rod, I guess. Should be fine. Should be. Oh, still not. Damn. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, let's move it by one tile then. I mean, I'm complaining, but I love it. Huh? Yes. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be too easy. So let's make sure we send it here and here we send it there. Now this is going to go here. What? This is the wrong building. This is the carrier when it should be the cart post, which is perfect because now it takes all of the space. My OCD is happy. Uh, let's uh, this do. Wait, what's happening now? This one. Yeah. This one here. Okay, so we have 20. Now we can send some here and send some here. Oh, no, we don't have a... What's the name of this? A commodity supplier. So let's build one. It's not the best place. Okay. So send now over here too. Good, so now they are happy. Let's make three more, upgrade them, perfect. Now we're missing a couple of artisans. Uh, so let's build a few more, I guess. 
That is not a problem. Need one normal road over here, by the way, not a crazy one. And just one of these. Perfect. Okay. So, yeah, we are back into... Mm, everything is going well. I am happy. Okay. So... We could improve this, but we don't really need to right now. And I think we should just focus on making tea. So to make tea, we're going to need a bit of salt. We're going to need this building that takes artisan. And then this one takes monks, but can be anywhere. Then we have this one that takes lowlander. And we're going to want a bit of this milk. Now I do have a lot of milk over here so maybe we have to do it there yeah, we want more cheese okay can do that i can do that uh, so you send a bit more milk over here the milk is sent there to make cheese good Look at this, nice, positive money. So I think we're going to do it over here because we already have our salt there. So let's go. We want this final building. Oh, it's pretty small. Interesting. Really small. I don't know how much that's going to make, but let's see. So one salt. Oh, we can only deliver to one place unless we create basically another uh, carrier post. Okay. So let's do this. You're going to send here and then you're going to dispatch there and there. We're going to want two instead of one. Good. So we have that. Now we need three herbs. That's really not a lot. So let's go over here. Deliver directly. Good. And then we're going to need milk transformed into this. So this is making six. We need nine. So I guess theoretically we need two. And this is a strange shape building. I'm going to put it here. Okay. So this should deliver to another one like this. If we want to be very efficient so let's actually do this okay i'm gonna copy you over here but you're going to be for that that way we can deliver to here plus to another one one when we need it later okay so then we need six and six right so six and six i think that's probably building two yeah let's go it takes quite a bit of space one here one there good so then finally we can deliver the butter tea to who who should we give it to so they don't care oh it's only my monks that we should send it to so that means we need a cart post over here. Hopefully it's in range. Yes, perfect. So let's go. Send it to these ones. Perfect. They need 4.7 and we're making 5. That's perfect. Love it. Love it. So we have finished this mission. Perfect. Oh no, I saw we were missing a couple of artisans. But anyway. Listen, we can't walk in these conditions. What are you talking about? You got tea. And by the way, look at this snow. It's beautiful. Oh, that was a, only a matter of meeting basic needs. <laughs> okay. Don't distract me from the point. We need better dormitories. Okay. I mean, larger local communities will help. Sure thing, boss. So we need level three. But before, as I was saying, let's make sure we have enough artisans. Uh, so maybe here... We add one more here. Yeah, good. So we need level three dormitories. 
And we are very close. We just need one more of enlightenment, which could be a Yak Garden or any of these over here. Now, this one is going to cost ton because we're going to need to put it all around. So maybe more the Mandala, the Gong or the Yak Garden. Let's check them out. We have the Yak Garden over here. It requires some Yak and some Monks. Then we have over here the Gong, a bit of Monks and that's it. So maybe we're going to build that one actually. It's a lot easier. Uh, it's not going to be able to unlock many unless I also move again one house. Okay, let's do this. So you're going to move here. You're going to move there. You're going to move here. And so let's take, for example, that one. Put it here. And we can put this new gong. Well, it's not perfect. But if I put one here and one there, then it's pretty perfect. Let's upgrade all of them. I think they're going to require more resources. But look, now they're actually quite high building, right? Uh, which makes sense because if there's more people sleeping there, they need to sleep somewhere. Oh, we need one more. Damn. Okay. So let's add one more. <laughs> oh, and this one, of course, is missing something. What is he missing? Contrary to the other ones. Oh, he's not getting the... No, I'm not sure what he... Oh, the incense. Okay, so maybe let's put a magnificent rod in the middle, like here. Okay, good. Now they can all be upgraded, actually. Perfect, we have 16, more than 16, Monks du Martyry level 3. Okay, give them some tea, a bunch to pray about, and they're happy. <laughs> Artisan are harder to satisfy. Okay, many of them are homesick. So what should we do? Well, I don't understand that this I understand that these chains can be hard. What should we do? Weird carpets on your walls? Yes, tapestries, not carpets. So that's the next mission. We need a lot of artisans to have tapestries. The, this one over here. Okay, so let's see. We should try. This is going to take a river. Some artisans. Whoa, that's uh, not so easy. I'm gonna need some wool. I'm gonna need a bit of everything here. Okay, including some crystals. So I have some crystals here. I could put this over here and I could put this one there, but the wool wouldn't be that great. I think more and more we need to start really uh, stuff specializing each, each part of the mountain. We didn't go over here, but remember there's a lot of avalanches there. So that's the Andrus. And that's basically the only place left with uh, a lot of space. <laughs> So, we have crystals here too. So maybe we start here. Okay, so build the mine. And then we're going to connect a lot of things to that mine. So let's go. Oh, actually, sorry, I was losing money now. So this mine needs to go into what? So we have the crystal mine and the herbalist that needs to go into this one. We're talking about four. And this is, no, this is four. We're talking about two, I think, right? Yeah, we only need two. So if I want to be very precise, we should have two of these, right? And we should have one of these carrier posts. So you deliver to the carrier post and then the carrier post will deliver to him and him. Good. Now we're the negative in population, but let me well, actually let me pause this one for now. Now you're gonna need also four herbs. That's a strange number, which is on purpose, obviously, make it hard, but still. So six. Yeah. With six. Uh, yeah, that's annoying. Let's uh, let's just do one to one for now. So we are making now this powder, right? This dye. So with this dye, we can also make over here some textile and then send it into this dye house. So it is taking two, which is, wow. Okay, so we can definitely make a lot with one crystal. Uh, so let's uh, go. We can send it to then all of my people, basically. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, we need the river. I forgot about this. Okay. 
So this is definitely then need to go into a uh, card post. Alright, send here, send there. Then this card post will need to go close to our river. Close to that river, what else will we need? We will need to make some wool, which is better to do at the top. So actually, let's do over here. I mean, that's the perfect place. So we're going to deliver a die. Right? And it's only two, so we can probably make many. But let's start with one. Ten is a huge number, but okay. Uh, so I would love for this to stay, you know, for the, the one to stay where I was not have to refine it all the time. But anyway, we'll probably need... Because this is... This is four, yeah, we're gonna need... We want to avoid waste, we're gonna need a lot of these guys there. So, let's go. You deliver to this, and then you deliver there. And we're gonna need how many? Yo, this is four and this is ten. Not a round number again. So we basically need again another one like this to go here and then this goes there. All right? So we're making then uh, we need at least two more. So you deliver. We're probably also going to have a lot of milk to use for something else, but okay. Okay, so now we're at eight and then one more. Yeah, it's going to be hard to use that space here in the corner. But maybe if I'm very sneaky here. Ooh, this is not great. Let's uh, move this one, maybe one tile. Okay, so you deliver again to here. You send there. And actually now we have surplus. So do we even need this one? Now we are zero, so that's perfect. Okay, so we have 10. Now we need two incense. Uh, where are we making it already? What is that one? Oh yeah, that's fine. Uh, so we need two. And since that it was over here. Perfect. So send to here. Good. Now we're missing tons of people. So we need to fix this. But before we do, I want to give those tapestries to some people to make them happy. Uh, so potentially, where are my artisans there? They are not going to be upgraded, these ones, and these ones either. Oh, now now we need also one more building. What? Uh, something didn't work. Sorry. Uh, they don't want... Yeah, no, they want it. Okay. So they want seven. Good. So we've done the mission, but as you can see, we are really bad now. Huh? So we need to fix this first. Hey ladies and gentlemen, I am back and I'm not gonna lie, I think two hours has passed. This is basically my first map, so I was still discovering the game, but I think now I've got everything figured out. And as you can see on this part of the island over here, this is very different from what we had before. Those two hours basically I've spent reorganizing everything and making everything a lot more efficient. So let me explain to you a bit what happened, right? We used to basically have a bit of our lowlanders here and a lot of productions all around. It was a bit of a mess. Then similarly over here, we had both lowlanders and artisans and a bit of a mess too. Then we had artisans and production here. We had some monks there, but also a lot of productions. And we had started a new monk there too. We hadn't really done much more than that, right? Now, this is a very, very different map. First of all, I have completely organized by tier. So here you have all of my lowlanders in one place. Then here you have all of my artisans in one place. And then I still have two monks uh, cities, one over there and one over here. But the key idea is, you know, I'm minimizing the number of things like markets, the things like community suppliers, donation spots, right? Those things that you need next to your houses. I'm trying to minimize the number that we have for two reasons. The first one is, I mean, they cost upkeep and people, right? So <laughs> the less you have, the better. The second reason why and that I hadn't realized what was so important is the more I have of these, the more my logistics is going to be complex because I'm going to need to deliver, you know, for example, the eggs or the fish or whatever to two markets instead of one. So this is why 
you know, I'm trying to optimize this as much as possible. So we have a lot of lowlanders here, a lot of artisans, and then my monks on the level above. And then what I'm trying to do is also optimize the production. Each place is producing one thing and then sort of sending it across the map. And this one is actually for three reasons. The first one is that you may remember some productions are better on one level than another. So for example, let's talk about barley. It is a lot better to have a huge barley production on the lowest level and then send it everywhere than have a barley production, you know, on top because it's producing a lot less barley. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is a bit linked to what I just said for the market, right? We're simplifying a lot of the logistics instead of having multiple places and have to deliver to multiple places. Like there's one central place that's delivering everywhere. And then the third reason, which is a big one, especially for fields like this that I discovered, is that when you put them next to each other, you have actually logistic bonus. Let me explain what I mean. If you look at this uh, field over here, it seems very, very far from where it's all actually going to deliver, right? It's going to be delivering over here in a normal, you know, I mean, let me copy it over here. For example, you're going to see you know, this one is basically next to him, right? But this one can only deliver here. Why can this one deliver all the way there? Because it is actually completely connected to that field here. So actually that field here um, counts as the... So actually the range is counted as both this one and that one. And that's why you can see that the range goes all the way over here, all the way over there, but also all the way over here. So it's actually super efficient to try to make those long fields like this for your farms. So this is why this production over here, for example, is a magnificent, super optimized, in my opinion. Because you can see we have all of those fields over here. They are all delivering to only two of those warehouses. I mean, one warehouse for the barley and one warehouse for, uh, what is that color again? The hay. Right? They're all delivering to that place over here. Actually, not these ones there. I'll explain why in just a second. But yeah, they're all delivering there. That's super efficient. Then all of the hay that we have over here is going to be used over here. Again, a pretty efficient uh, manner, right? We're sending all of this A into these guys over here, right? And then these guys deliver automatically directly to this compact uh, yak breeder. So with this, you know, this is the second best way to make yak instead of having those yak pastures that only make five for a space pretty big. Now we have 14 for this space, right? And it just requires this other building here and a bit of this hay, but we had a anyway. Now, as I said, the only one that's not doing this is over here, where for this four then, I am sending the barley to this one, but I'm actually sending the A directly to those two over here. And the reason I'm doing this is because sending it to the A um, building there directly doesn't cost anything. Sending it here means I have to then use one yak force to then send it back over there. So it's a waste of one yak force. So definitely don't want to do this. But yeah, with this, as you can see, we can produce a lot of yak and I'm using them all. So that's really cool. And then on top of this, we're also producing a huge amount of barley. Actually, as you can see, more than what I even need, but it's good for the future. And it's also for the A that I did this. Oh, and I see this one didn't deliver. So it's even more, actually, 126 of barley. Then this barley is going to go here again into a dedicated place, right? This is a place where we're doing all of the meals to transform this barley into Tomsa, the tea, right? So we have four of these. They go into this building there. And then, as I said, this building is going to deliver everywhere on the map. Now, this is unfortunately costing a lot of artisans. So this is why you may want to also put instead one yak post like this, right? Because in this case, instead of almost 50 artisans, this would be costing me 12 monks and then a couple of yak, right? So that could be more efficient. But we're still in positive right now, that's fine. And my yak are actually <laughs> a bit low. <laughs> So yeah, this is now delivered, you know, as you can see to all my markets, my four markets have this. Then here, we don't have a lot of production on this side anymore at all. We just have a lot of houses, right? We have the market here. We have the community uh, center supplier. We have the donation spots. And with this, right, we've been able to have actually a lot of lowlanders at level three. I could even get more, but right now I don't need them. Right, so a lot of it is level three, thanks to a lot of food. Uh, also praying place, right? And utensils. I'll show you utensils in a second. I do want to mention 
that over here we have X. The reason X is not really a big production somewhere with, you know, something like this to transport it on across the whole map is that only the lowlanders are interested in X. <laughs> There's no reason for uh, anything different. Then here we do have one production. This is the production of meat. But again, everything is, you know, concentrated in one place and I probably have space to uh, increase it even further, right? We have, for example, two smoke house over here. Those two smoke house are connected, you know, to those god farms over here. The god farms are making the meat. They're also connected, as you can see, to this um, carrier post or so, uh, warehouse, right? That's linked to those two charcoal pile. The charcoal pile are linked to those two foresters over here. Uh, and then uh, that's pretty much it. Oh no, and then the last thing is we have salt that's coming from a big warehouse a little, very far away. So we're making over here the meat and we're making quite a lot, right? 16. So that's good. Then over here we have another small one which is the tea. The tea for my monks, right? So you can see we're sending it to the monks but also sending it to these guys over here. Uh, they actually like that. I mean, it's only one... Um, of, of needs but it's better than nothing so we have you know the tea there again we always have one of these uh, wayak posts so that we can deliver everywhere on the map this is using those two tea butter tea brewers right those two butter tea brewers are receiving a lot of herbs those herbs are delivered from here right and go directly there the reason we have this warehouse is that this can only deliver to one place so you don't want to do this that would be a waste so doing this then we also have a lot of butter and salt that we need right so the salt is actually over here we are uh, taking four putting it into this warehouse and then we have one goes going here one there one here one here and then last but not least, it is uh, the butter, as I said, or what is it called? Butter, yeah. So the butter, as you can see following you know, that line, is coming from over here, where we have a butter production. So not a big one, it's actually over here. Those three are making uh, 18 in total, so that's exactly what we're using. This is my uh, milk you know, island. <laughs> so we have a lot over here of this yak shack that are making a lot of milk. Right, this is all of this there. It all goes into this warehouse, and then the warehouse is going to deliver to all of these buildings. Oh, sorry, there are also two more there. But yeah, it's delivering into all of those buildings, the three butter teas that I mentioned, and also how many? Two, four, six cheese makers to make a lot of cheese that's over here. And then these cheese deliver across all four markets. And we have also, as I said, you know, those three butters that are going there. Last but not least, with all of these yak shack, we're also getting a lot of wool. So this wool is getting into this yak post over here. Right? We're making only 12 because uh, yak is actually... Uh, sorry, let me show you over here. This is actually not so great to produce a lot of wool uh, at the bottom, but I need a lot of milk, so that's why I put it at the bottom. Uh, we have, you know, so all of this wool there that's going to then be delivered into the three here to make uh, a lot of of, uh, to be precise, 12 of textile that is then sent to this market over here for these artisans, right? So yeah, that's what's happening at the bottom. As you can see, very optimized. If I may say so, uh, we still have quite a bit of space there, right? So we could continue to expand as needed. But first, let's move to the second level where we have our artisans, right? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Last thing I didn't show you is here we have a mine of crystal. It sends to this crystal there that we're sending all the way up to uh, my monks. I'll show you slightly later. Then here we have, uh, you know, the artisans, as I said. So all of them, again, centralized around one food market, one community center, and one donation spot. So this making a lot of money. By the way, talking about money, you can see that lowlanders and monks only give two, while artisan gives three. So you may want to have a big artisan population to be positive. So all of my people are there, and you can see we have a lot of level 3 uh, artisans. That's really good. Actually, can this even go to level 4? No. And, uh, some of them are not far from level 4, right? So we may get there very soon. So level 3 already quite a lot, right? We have a lot of food, a lot of also... Um, how is that called? Prosperity. All right, things like ustensil or tapisserie that we just did at the end. And then a couple of enlightenment. We have this normal small uh, praying place and the gong 
uh, where is the gong here you have the gong for example here we don't have any enlightenment so that's why they're also actually not so happy we could definitely add one you know like this and then you have a few more people that are happy <laughs> good good so anyway yes a lot of artisans let's talk about the easy one that we were basically already doing before we have this copper mine over here producing four it goes into this warehouse because again this can only deliver to one place and this warehouse delivers to those four copper smiths because they, that requires only one copper to make five utensils. Then all of these are going, you know, into this card post. So with this, we have 20 that we're sending both here and there. So that's a good. Uh, I don't remember. Do they need? They need you stand still to go to the next level too, if we want. But uh, they're actually already at max level there, as you see. <laughs> So anyway, we are doing the stencils there. Then I've put a lot of fish production there, right? So we're actually producing a lot more than what needed. So, uh, you know, we could pause a couple if needed. That's not a problem. But yeah, we're having all of the fish going into this one card post there and then sent to all of my market at once. And then last but not least, we have a small production here of incense. All right, this is just one incense maker that's going to use four cedar wood and 12 herbs. So the four cedar woods is coming from here and then the 12 um, herbs are here, six and six. So I know this is not a super optimized, but I didn't really need more than this. You know, as you can see, we're making already 12 and we only need five uh, with this shrine over here. So that's what's happening with the artisan level. There is only one that I've used. Remember, there is a second one over here, but there is an avalanche power level two there. So that's actually quite hard to defend. So I haven't gone there yet. And then last but not least, we have our monks. So our monks, we have three islands, let's say. I had the first one, original, which is now protected from those avalanche with this wall there, right? So if you go over here, we used to have foresters, but the walls, the avalanche barriers were blocked because you needed a high um, research level. Now we are at research level 7, so we're good. This costs money, but it can definitely help you, you know, to protect from those avalanches. Uh, so that's really cool. With this, I haven't had any problem recently, so we're happy there. So again, you know, we have as many monks as possible across the market and the community center and of course donation spots. We do need also quite a few big buildings in terms of alignment, like the academy and the monastery. So do keep that in mind for, you know, the, your layout. I'm not saying it's a perfect layout, of course, but it, it looks pretty good. In particular, as you can see, we are at monks level four. Thanks to quite a few food, we have some textile and we have a lot of enlightenment. Of course, some small things like the praying place, I don't even like here, right? But we also have the mandala there. We have the gong next to it. You saw the incense uh, in the shrine before. All right, so that's working really well. Of course, we also have for the monastery, we need you know the painted setter and so for that one i made a great production this is happening over here it's not taking that much space i know you could say why do you put it next to your market and all well this is because the rock crystal mine is there now i could have sent this maybe over here but it was there so eh, it's fine <laughs> so we have you know the crystal going into the warehouse as always so that then you can go into two die producer because it's two each and then you add a bit more herbs now for this one for the herbs i could have also put a warehouse actually let me see but the reason i didn't is for for two one is i didn't really have the space and the second reason is i would still need two because you need four right so basically i need eight in total this is only six so i would still need both of these and therefore it's, it wouldn't be a big gain to have a warehouse but yeah we have one uh, herbalist for each and that's making as we said the die right this die is going into this warehouse so that then it can be split into three of these right again this is why it's important to have a warehouse because you have two that you need to sprint to to split sorry into three so one two and three each uh, asking for two and then they're also asking for eight cedar wood right so we have one cedar wood there one there and one here just in range so that works really well to make in total 12 of these uh, cedar painted or cedar 
painted, I guess, <laughs> painted cedar, sorry, <laughs> and then we're sending this to the two monasteries, right, one over here, and the other monastery is all the way there, which is where we have our second small city, these ones are not super uh, high, I'm actually not sending any of this prosperity uh, thing, but we could actually even get to the next level just with, for example, a mandala and a gong, you know, I can do it together if you want, oh, but that's going to increase their needs for like fish and um, we can probably do it Let, let's do it together so you know we're gonna put a gong perfect it's touching everybody and we're going to put no not a gong a mandala sorry but now a gong too uh, maybe we put two one here and one here and now they can all get upgraded let's see if we get a problem in terms of uh, one of our production that's not enough anymore I don't think so far so good. It is. So we make more money and we have more monks. Perfect. So yeah, here we have, as I said, you know, sort of that basic production. Uh, that should go the other way around. Then it can be upgraded too. Good. Oh, perfect. Uh, so we have a couple of productions here. The first one is, you can see again, a lot of yak shack. Maybe you're wondering why I have some here and also some at the bottom. Well, remember is those yak shack, they may produce a low number of milk at the top, but they produce a high number of wool. And I need a lot of wool for something. So that's why we have, you know, over here, how many is it? Six of those yak shack that are delivering to two warehouses in a sense, right? We have one warehouse carrier post there for the actual wool. And then we have one here for the milk. All right, then the milk is going to be delivered over here into those three. It could probably be... No, I think... Yeah, it could have probably been a normal warehouse with the road there. But anyway, so we have this milk then delivered to three cheesemakers so that we don't waste it, right? I just have this milk for free in a sense. So this way we don't, um, you know, we don't um, waste it. And then this milk is sent to this warehouse to be sent to this food market over here on the other hand all of this wool is going to be sent to how many is it six uh, eight eight of these weaver to make a lot of textile right and this textile goes into this yak post we're making quite a lot and it's going to be delivered to two things one is it's actually delivered to those monks there as one of the good that uh, they do want right if you look over here that's uh, a textile good that they want and actually, that's how I managed to get them full to level four, right over here. And then there is also quite a lot, because if you look, this is only five that's going to the monks. There is 20 that's going to those two die houses, All right? This one here and this one there. They need 10 each and they also need a bit of die. And so that's what we're doing over here. I'm taking a bit of crystal and a bit of herb to make some die. And this die is sent, you know, to... Uh, here and then split between those two all right so that we can make a lot of tapestries 20 tapestries i'm actually only using 11 right now so one wouldn't be enough but i definitely have ways to um you know to to use more in a sense uh, and this is actually sent to these artisans there i think they're the only one that I actually want it uh yeah these guys don't want uh artisan they want textile so we can we could send them textile let me see uh because i think we still have some yeah we still have seven so let's send them some textile make oh no we need here okay oh not enough okay they need nine when you have seven okay so maybe we won't do it now we what i could do is given that we don't need 20 of die house i could put it higher like this and then it would be fine okay uh, this does cost me a couple more yaks just to be very quick now i'm going to put one of these because it's exactly five uh what else have we seen i think we've seen it all now yeah so that's basically what happened you know again this is the same buildings we had before i didn't do a new production in a sense but as you can see i've completely reorganized the city to be a lot more efficient to have people a lot higher level than they use uh, to be and we're making more money than before right we're talking about now almost 4000 of income so that's really cool we have also a good number of people except yak i could probably you know i can add a few more there of these and of these it shouldn't be too much of a problem plus for yak by the way there is an even more advanced way which is this one over here where you know with eight 
A's and three perfume, you make 86 yak. Let's just remember this one over here is only 14 yak for four uh, A. So let's say we have 8A, that's 28. 28 versus this one is 80 something, right? 86. We do need to make perfume though, right? Which is not the easiest. So we'll have to see if we do it now or a bit later, maybe in our next map. Let's continue. You know, the next mission was to have 50 houses at level 3. We have that, so we're happy. And he says, we made it. We have had a breakthrough. Okay, that sounds promising. We have come to the conclusion that I must ask something of you. That's really <laughs> always what he does. Okay, so isn't everything just a little thing compared to raising a summit temple? Mm, I don't know. So to raise a summit temple, we need a lift station base and lift towers and establish a supply at the mountain peak of wood and butter lamp. Okay, so let's. So for example, over here, we can see one space for this lift station. So let's connect. Okay, we need a couple of those yak, but that's fine for now. Uh, and now we need to build some of these lift towers. So here, for example, to here, to here, and final one, and we go to the top. Great. So it is, we have the summit, ta uh, summit temple, 72 monks. Good thing we had a lot. We do need miss a bit of yak right now. And more importantly, we need to start sending resources, right? So wood and butter lamps. So the butter lamps is this one over here. This is going to take us quite a few things. So let's get ready for it. Wood is this basic one, right? So it's not too hard. So it is, ladies and gents, a couple of minutes later, and you can see that we're transporting now resources. We're transporting wood and butter lamps to the top of the mountain, slowly but surely getting there. Now, let me show you how I did this. Oh, big avalanche. Let's see. Oof. Good thing it's not coming on those uh, new cities here, which are basically what we need to talk about. Um, as you can see, I mean, a lot of wood there. Uh, it is not just new wood, it is also the wood we used to have over here for all of these smoke houses. Now I have centralized all of the wood production over here. So we have a lot of wood here that's going into this yak post, actually 48. And then this is delivered into all of those charcoal piles. Again, remember we needed charcoal pile for the smoke meat. On top of this, you know, we have also those three here, which are actually delivering to this cart. And that's what we're sending to the temple. So the 18 wood going to the temple are those three there. Then we have, you know, all of this charcoal is going into the smoke houses over here. By the way, I made a fourth one because our population has grown a bit. So with the fourth one, we obviously also have a bit more goat farms and we're taking a bit more salt than before. So we're making more of this smoke meat. But more importantly, you know, we're also sending some of the charcoal to those two butter lamps over here. All right. This is the building that's going to make butter lamps. Then it goes into this yak post. And this is what we're sending to the lift uh, station to make those butter um, lamps. We're taking therefore this charcoal. We're also taking a couple of utensils. I'm going to show you where they are and butter. Now butter, we need two buildings of six. So that's what's happening over here, coming with two of those farms. So this is not fully optimized, but that's enough. The only thing that was missing, as I said, is utensils. Right, those utensils are actually coming all the way from the top uh, over here. This is the other place where we have a copper mine, right? So making four into this warehouse, then we have those four over here making a lot. So the reality is right now there's a bit of a waste here because I'm making 14. I could send it to some of my people, but we could also pause it for now, right? Like this, for example, that is fine. This way we make even more money. So yeah, this is how we're sending. I don't know why this guy is not happy. Sending more than one resource from a single station. Oh, okay. So you may not want to do this. What I did, which is to send the two resources in one station. What you may want to do is create a second station uh, on the other side, right? It's all the way over here. The reason I didn't do it is because I already have buildings there. But yeah, you could have a second station to go to the top. Now we're talking about only 50. It's costing us 50 to have both of these on the same. So I think that's totally fine. We can have that done. So let's continue and see what happens. 
whilst the temple is starting to be built. Magnificent. We made it, what an achievement. It's true, the temple allows us to truly connect with the spirit. It's a huge milestone. We should be proud of ourselves. That's great, but what about that mystery? What mystery? The huge footprint. <laughs> oh, that mystery figured it out ages ago. Turns out those rocky shapes are the result of an earthquake. Okay. <laughs> Stop complaining and enjoy the view. It is indeed a magnificent view and it is. Ladies and gents, we have finished this first mission, Demon's Rest, the Summit Temple. Now, it definitely took us quite a few hours. You know, it was longer than expected, harder than the tutorial, but still a great challenge. There is still some more space, so we could continue to upgrade a bit more, but I'm happy that we also managed to get, you know, basically to the full level, level four for the dormitories of the monks, and even over here for the artisans, we're pretty close to it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please smash like button, share in the comments if you want to see also some of the other maps. Tell me which of the maps you want to see first, and I hope to see you next time.